Today's video is presented to you by UTIs. It's a urinary tract infection. It's when this bacteria gets into your vagina. I started piano classes and singing classes. Bro, why are people honking for no reason? I don't get it. I'm just kind of letting my creative energy out this month that I'm here in India because I just feel like I want to be more expressive and creative. What can I say, guys? New Year, new me. Hey, guys. We at the studio. <laughs> this is the only thing that we've learned so far. Oh my god, guys, my hair looks brown. It's it's brown, it's not pink anymore, it's fucking brown. So today after piano class, we went to the dentist and I got my teeth clean. Look, how clean do they look? I'm trying to get my life together, guys. I'm trying to work out every day. I'm trying to meditate every day. I'm trying to fucking learn music. I'm trying to just live a dream life that is totally possible because I'm literally in India for an entire month. So we went to singing classes and I did not film any of that because it was the first time I was doing the singing class and we were in a group setting. I did this really weird thing where I went upstairs to the roof and I just started singing and dancing and it's dark so like no one was around so i felt very like free to like be myself and it felt really nice i definitely need to carve out some time every day just to be creative and that's exactly what i'm doing but i'm noticing that like while traveling it was kind of hard to carve out that time just because you're kind of seeing places and in life in general like when i'm back at one location you know not all over the place then i will definitely have to carve out an hour a day where like no one fucks with me i pick up no one's calls my brain is 100 percent tuned in to creative stuff. Now I'm just gonna go hang out with my grandparents because that is kind of the main reason I'm here. Let me do that. Today's video is presented to you by UTIs. It's a urinary tract infection. It's when this bacteria, E. coli, gets into your vagina. And what can I say? E. coli loves me so much, we have a long history. In fact, E. coli found me early on in life at the age of six, and I started bleeding out my vagina, and I was hospitalized for about two weeks. Anyways, I'm gonna stop being dramatic, but honestly, I'm on so many antibiotics. Cranberry juice is your best friend when you have UTIs. I have done so much research on this shit. I have literally watched video after video, how to clean your vagina, how to make sure you don't get UTIs, how to be clean. I have been doing all the things I'm supposed to be doing, but this UTI somehow finds its way to me every single time. The amount of antibiotics I am taking is ridiculous. And if you're wondering, am I taking these antibiotics from my UTI? No, I am not. I'm taking them because I'm sick. I have a UTI. Somehow my immunity is also very low and I end up getting very, very sick. So I just wanted to bring you guys along with me while I chug a bunch of of antibiotics which by the way I fucking hate I hate taking antibiotics all the time because it's like I hate putting anything external and chemically made into my body because I like all natural shit but when you're dealing with infection you really can't do it naturally because God knows what the hell is in these infections what type of bugs exist here by the way I am currently in India and the bugs here in India are built different baby also I do end up always getting a UTI when I'm in India God knows what I fucking do my vagina probably got it anyways here we go mofos amioxalin Oh, that shit almost got stuck in the back of my throat. Next up, Sporlac tablet. There's always a drug for every problem in this world. I wonder why we're depressed. Cheers. Oh, that shit. That shit got stuck in the back of my throat. Up next. It doesn't matter. It's a drug. Cheers. Oh, that shit got stuck in my throat too. Could you imagine if I started choking on camera? All right, if you didn't think that wasn't enough, all the antibiotics that I have just taken cause a lot of acidity and a lot of queasiness in the stomach. These meds are sounding a lot like skincare products. The problems that arise from taking the products in the first place must also have solutions to the problems that, that arises. Almost like when you use a new face wash and your face wash starts breaking you out. So then the face wash company decides to create like pimple patches under the same brand so that you can put the pimple patches on the pimples that's being caused by its original product, which was a face wash. This is exactly the same analogy that's happening with these medicines. I love that my soul has decided to come to this planet. Cheers to that. Oh, 
God. Your girl just bought music festival tickets. It's an all women's music festival and I've never been to an all women's music festival. I haven't actually been to a festival alone, period. I'm also needing to get my shit together a little bit and apply for jobs because you know how I've been like on this travel spree world tour. It's been fun, but my savings are suffering and I need to get another job. Right now, I am just completely unbothered and reading a book. I just aspire to just be this light. I don't care about anything else. I just want to help people and be this light. And that is what I want to do in this existence. But unfortunately, the rules and the laws of the universe is that this body needs food and replenishment. So I need to also figure out how to get money. But the main goal of my existence is to heal my psyche by helping others. It's like 2 a.m. right now. So I'm speaking my heart's desire out to you guys on the internet. That seems to be my coping mechanism and therapy for some really odd reason. And it's always when I'm laying in bed in this exact same position, you guys are probably so bored just seeing me in the exact same position every single fucking time. I'm sorry, okay? Look at this bougie bitch. Look at how bougie he's been. <laughs> so, see all this stuff? gonna be gone. I'm gonna have perfect clear skin. Bougie bitch. When this, this is just my daily coconut that I drink. <laughs> I'm in the exact same position you guys saw me in last night. I have not moved. The weirdest thing just happened to me. A bird just plopped down on the ground in front of us when we were coming out of a building. You know me, I be Googling what the hell that means. Everything has a meaning and everything doesn't have a meaning at the same time and I don't understand this world. Nothing really popped up. It was just like a warning from divine. <laughs> like bro, how many fucking warnings do I need at this point? You don't need to give me warnings anymore. I be having shit fired at me from every angle. Being a human, just be like that sometimes. Good drink. Congratulations. How does it feel being all married? Happy birthday to you. Thank you. <laughs>